If you use Canva, then this video is for you because I want to show you how you can easily use Canva's folders to stay a lot more organized. Now, even if you have a free version of Canva, you can still utilize folders because if we come over to here, this is one of the reasons why I love Canva because their folders and their storage. So if we just come down to here, storage and organization, we can see folders, you even get unlimited folders on the free version and you also get five gigabytes of storage. Now on a pro version, that's what I currently have, you still get unlimited folders. You can do media tagging as well, but you also get one terabyte. Now this is so much better when you want to stay organized because you can create folders and subfolders within that folder. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. Now the easiest way to do this is when you're designing something, when you have a new project open. Now what you want to do is come over to the project section here on the left hand side and then you want to click on folders just here. So this is where we can create a new folder. So we're going to do that first and then we're going to call this one, let's just call this clip art just like this. We click continue and now we have that new folder just here. Now if we click on here, this is obviously going to be empty, but now to stay a lot more organized, no matter what you're creating, you can create subfolders. In fact, you can create subfolders within folders as well. And like I just showed you, you can do this an unlimited amount of times. Now to create a subfolder, we click onto the three dots, we come to create new folder again, and then this is where we can name it. So for this example, I've got a bunch of back to school clip art, which we're going to upload. So let's name it that, just like so. And now if I click continue, we have this folder or this subfolder within this folder. And again, I can create more folders in here. So this would be back to school. I could have woodland animals, safari, or anything that we want. Now, if I wanted to create a subfolder within a folder, it's exactly the same process. So we click on there, then we click on the three dots, and then we can create a new folder again. But now we're in here, the back to school clip art folder. I can now take all of my clip art, I can then upload it here, and then they're all going to be organized in its own folder, just like that. Now, if we go back one, we're going to see the back to school clip art and it's going to tell you how many items are in this. Now, let me just refresh the page just like that. And now we can see I have 10 items in this. So again, this is going to be much better to keep you a lot more organized. Now, this is one way you can create folders. There's also another way, which I'm going to show you in just a second. But let's say I have created a folder and I want to move my clip art, my images, my designs, or whatever it is into that folder. So let's come to the upload section. I have a bunch here. Let's just click on this because that's what you've got to do. You want to find the items that you want to move. You can then click onto the little square, enable it with that tick. And then if we come down to here, we can click on move to folder. We can search for the folder just here. Now, if you've recently created it, is going to show up just underneath, but we can click on there, we can click move to folder, and then that has been moved. So if we go back to that folder just here, we can see I now have 13 items, and all of the items are now in this folder. Now, let me show you the other way as well, because we want to come over to projects just here. So when you're on the home page, we want to scroll down the left hand side to projects. It is right under the home page tab. Now, once we click on there, we can click on folders and we can create new folders from here. So if we look over here on the right hand side, we can see add new, we can click on folder and then it's the same process. So in fact, if I click on there, we can now create a new folder just like that and go through the same process. Now you can also, move your images from here as well. So if we come over to images, what you can then do is drag and select all of the items that you want to move, click onto the little folder underneath, and then again, choose the folder that you want to move everything to. 
So, as you can see, it's really, really simple to create folders and folders within folders to organize all of your graphics, your elements, your clip art, your designs, or whatever that is. Now, one thing to keep in mind as well, which I almost forgot to say, and that is you can't delete the main folder if you have subfolders within that folder and with elements in them. So if we try and click on the three dots here and click on delete folders, we can see folders containing other folders can't be deleted. Please move or delete the other folders, then try again. So if you want to delete a folder within a folder, you first have to move those items as well. But with that being said, that's just how simple it is to create folders here in Canva. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like, as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.